after nearly nine years, the America's war in Iraq will be over. <laughs> it's the news many here at this barber shop near Camp Pendleton have been waiting to hear. A shared sense of relief among the members of the Marines filling the chairs. I think that's great, honestly. Um, it, it's, it's been a long fought, hard war. Um, we're, we're very proud of what we've done and accomplished, um, and it's great to have our boys, you know, uh, back home. Nearly 40,000 U.S. troops will be leaving Iraq, and President Obama has promised they'll be home in time for the holidays. They can rejoice with their family, their wives and kids, and begin living their life again. Say it's a good thing, you know, get them out of there and get them home with safe for their family. More than 4,400 members of the military have been killed in Iraq over the past eight years another 32,000 wounded. Being out there and coming back, a lot more humbleness, being thankful that they're back. It's a good feeling to know that you, you did something for your country, something worth it that I always remember. A war that should have never been authorized, a war that should have never been waged. Obama has been an opponent of the Iraq war since before he took office, but has always been quick to praise the efforts of the U.S. troops. Friday's announcement was no different. He said American soldiers would leave the country with, quote, their heads held high, proud of their success. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.